The Galaxy S20 is finally official, and it comes in three flavors, the S20, the S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra. Each model comes with a different camera layout, and that contributes pretty heavily to their different price points. So let's break down what exactly you're getting with each new phone. So the standard Galaxy S20 looks a lot like last year's S10. You get the same wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto cameras, but each sensor is significantly larger than before, which lets all of them take in quite a bit more light. The main camera uses a 12 megapixel sensor at 1.8 microns. There's no more dual aperture, instead you get a constant f1.8, and it's backed by a 12 megapixel ultra-wide and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera. You get the same setup on the S20 Plus with the addition of a fourth time of flight sensor, and that high res telephoto enables a 3x hybrid optic zoom for getting close to your subject without losing sharpness. On either phone, you can also digitally zoom up to a factor of 10 for a total 30 times zoom. Of course, that comes with a loss in quality, but it's impressive nonetheless. If you really want to get close to a subject, the S20 Ultra is the only way to go. The camera arrangement is totally different here. The main sensor has been bumped up to 108 megapixels with 9 to 1 pixel binning on by default. This gives you 12 megapixel photos with a ton of detail and light intake, and you can even shoot at the full 108 megapixels if you choose to for whatever reason. Now, part of why the camera housing on the S20 Ultra is so thick is because of its 48 megapixel telephoto sensor. It's so large that Samsung had to lay it sideways and bounce the light off of a mirror. We've seen the same from Huawei in the past, and the result here is a 10x lossless zoom that can get as much as 100 times closer to your subject digitally. Again, there's a pretty significant drop in quality on the upper end of that digital zoom, but this gives you a ton of headroom for shooting somewhere in between, and during our briefing, Samsung showed us some pretty impressive photos of the Cleveland Stadium taken from an airplane window. No matter which variant of the S20 you buy, you'll be able to shoot 8K video and even trim or downscale that footage directly on the phone. There's also a new single take mode that lets you capture multiple different styles of photos and videos with a single shutter press. We're going to be testing that and every other feature of the S20 in our full review in the coming weeks, but in the meantime, we've got plenty of hands-on coverage for you to check out, so make sure you're subscribed to Android Central here on YouTube, and until next time, Thanks for watching.